Hey everyone, it's Drunken Otaku here. And this will be my final part of my Let's Read series of Girls Last Tour. I have uh, gotten to chapter 38 out of 42. All right, let's do this. Get this all ready to go. There we go. Volume 6, Chapter 38. What do we have there? The book title The World as Will and Representation, 1818, by author Schopenhauer. That's pitch black. Put it in my bag. Roger. What a waste. Adding more and more books that we can't read. It's not a waste. Still, it's not as good as the bookshelf in Grandpa's house. Come to think of it, it had a huge number of books. Ah. Cheech Han, stop. Hmm? Look, a book. Ooh, Wow. Finding two at the same time. That's a pretty awesome day, actually. Wait, Chi Chen, give me some light. Are they gonna find a library? Oh. Books! The books! <laughs> They're right here. W wait a minute. No way, this wall. It's one big bookshelf. It's huge. Awesome. Let's, let's start with these. Chi Chan, calm down. There's no reason to stress. There are so many of them here. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at that blacked out face right there. <laughs> well, she found where she's going to spend eternity. <laughs> but the shelves are really high. There's no way we can reach the top ones. Maybe the ladder's around. Oh, there. I ran a ladder. It's an elevator. Does it work? Well, it can go sideways as well. That's awesome. Slow down, you. I can't see the books while we're moving around. Oh, sorry about that. Do you think there are any books here that I can even read? I doubt it. <laughs> now it's her turn for that face. Books can be divided into two major types. The ones which summarize factual things and the ones written through imagination. But both of them are testimonies of people's thoughts. Damn straight. Grandpa said, hmm, that long ago, lo that a long, long time ago, there were places called libraries where tons of books were being kept. Maybe is this place one of those libraries? Let's go up a bit more. I've heard that if you collect every, everything mankind has written up till now, it would contain more words than numbers of stars in the universe. I don't know about that, but man, that's impressive. <laughs> think about if you can think about the scope of that. Clunk. Top of the shelf, we can climb up. More words than numbers of stars. You? It's like a universe of words. Do you think that everyone's thoughts are collected here? It looks like that. Wow. You find any good books? Yeah, and uh, there's even so much I can read. Huh. In this place. Maybe there are books from all over the world. What's that? The thing I found in the rocket. This small, the smell. Maybe you're re recognizing it. It's Kathy. Do you mean coffee? Bitter. Grandpa used to drink it often, but I didn't like the bitter taste. Mm, yummy. <laughs> coffee is glorious. Ah. Oh, yeah. I found a book I think you'll like, but I can't read it right here. Oh, this is... <laughs> it's got a fish on the front cover. I can't read it, but I still understand. 
Ah, I want to stay and live here. So let's stay. <laughs> She's down for anything. <laughs> we can't. Collecting books. That used to be Grandpa's hobby back in the day. No, not hobby. Before he we went on this journey, I wanted to find and bring home books. Both ones I could read and ones I couldn't. Why? Mostly to learn more from them, but maybe not only for that reason. I wonder if it's all the same. That thing you said before about space and curiosity? Yeah, that too. All of it. Making maps, building planes, machines trying to maintain the city. Us looking for the highest point. The people who built the huge city. You mean the same purpose? No, not purpose. Even though I know that everything will end someday, I still can't just sit around and do nothing. There's something at the center of my heart which gives me the desire of wanting to do something. It's like it ties everything together. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I figured. And at the end of that long, long line, if I wonder that's if I wonder if that's where or where we are. Mm, yum, Kathy. It's Kathy. Hate when it jumps down like that. All right, chapter thirty-nine. How the hell is this gonna wrap up in a good way? I I just don't see it, you know. All right. Engine sounds looks like. The rest of the way looks up looks up pretty good. Ooh, what happened here? Oh no. That's in the tread. Crunch. Did the tracks break? Uh-huh. If there's nothing else, that's not a problem, but... I have a bad feeling about this. Click. Click. As I thought, the engine won't start either. Eh? Can you fix it? I don't know yet. I have to take a look at the engine first. Is there anything I can help with? No. I was kidding. Help me remove the cover. Anything, just tell me what to do. <laughs> Is what I said, but now the cover's off, there's nothing left for me. No more I can do. I'll watch over you. Whistling and guessing or singing here to la la. La 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 la. Is she singing the Zetsubo song? <laughs> How about if I do this? Stop. Stop singing. Sorry. I can't help with anything, so I thought I'd sing. It's getting darker. I found this light, so I brought it over. Oh, <laughs> she's just trying to help so much. Thank you. Removing the entire engine. <sighs> clang, clang, clang. Uh, Hey, how would it feel with a bath right now? Sure, sure, sure but it kind of looks like a bath now, doesn't it? 
I I I think I'll turn it into a bath. Eh? What about the engine? The cylinder's cracked. The drive shaft's gone limp. Even if I repair this part, that part will break. It's reached the end of its life. Got it. So what do we do now? You can start with filling this part with snow. The fuel is unnecessary, so drain the tank. Pour it on any piece of clothing that we don't need. We'll use plates and adhesions to fill the holes. It's getting warmer. Oh, amazing. Time to get in. This is fucking depressing. I mean, Jesus Christ. <sighs> sure, you sure are a genius, Chichan. Chichan. Oh. <laughs> mm. A freaking tank breaking down. Is breaking my heart right now. <laughs> a fucking tank breaking down is breaking my heart. Oh. Actually, no, it's her face right there that did it. That did it. I'm in despair. Girl's last tour has brought me into despair. <sighs> Already. Right, I, I thought we'd drink this. The one remaining bottle. Like, hey, you, can you sing? Is that the bottle of beer they found? Hey, you, can you sing that song from before? Sing? Well, sure. La, la, glug, glug, yum. Thank you for everything. Only bring what you can carry. Right. Breakdown. Oh, man. Chapter 40. Jesus Christ. I don't want to keep going. This is called Girl's Last Tour for a reason, I think. Let's do this. Chapter 40. I haven't dreamed anything recently. Maybe it's because I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted from walking all day that I immediately fall asleep. And next thing I know, I'm woken up by the cold. I wonder if we're still really alive while we're unconscious. Or are we dead for that moment thinking about it that way? It really blurs the line between life and death. Wake up. Hmm. It's scary. 
That is a, yeah. Ever onward, upward. It's so heavy, heavy, heavy. Hey, Chi Chan, what? We have no more use for this gun, right? Can I throw it away? Sure. But save some of the ammo. I got it. Goodbye. I haven't thrown anything away yet. You feel bad for leaving anything behind, right? <sighs> you, hold on. Chi-Chan? Shut her breath. Help her. Let's stop here for the night. After all, we can't get any further today. The packs are so heavy. That's right. Clearly, the only reason we survived this far was thanks to the vehicle. What was it called again? A Kedenkrod, wasn't it? But we've never met anyone who had a vehicle which lasted forever. It was still a very valuable thing to have. According to the map, the only way inside is by climbing this outer wall so at least we can't get lost hey chi chan that book bag has it gotten larger well the books i picked up at the library eh, did you pick up even more there were so many rare ones in chi chan i know we can't carry this many with us to preserve fuel let's use up the books first Ah, uh, that one. That's the one you almost burned. I remember that. Kappa, right? You remembered because you scolded me about it. The canned fish is also heavy, so let's eat that first. Yay. What kind of book is Kappa anyway? I don't know exactly, but it's a storybook. It's about someone who goes to a place where strange creatures are living. They look like they have plates on their heads. Plates on their heads sounds kind of like Nuko's parents. Well, maybe. Not exactly. Maybe they were Kappa. Maybe. Walk. Burn. Sleep. Walk. Oh my god. Burn. Titled Cheetah's Diary. Do we burn this too? I'm tearing out the map part. Are you okay? At this point, the contents of the journal. Yes. It's not as important as being able to swarm, uh, able to warm the water. Yeah, I guess you're right on that one. Maybe I was too afraid of forgetting. As if in a deep, sleep, dreamless sleep, I'd have a gaping hole in my memory. But it's fine. I'm waking up every morning. Still alive. Jesus Christ. Climbing. Chapter 40 or 46, based on your perspective. I am not liking where this is going at all. They threw the gun away. They're burning their books. 
lost the Ken Grad. Ken Grad. Grad. Okay. I found a spiral staircase. Okay. It's a good thing that it's not cold as, uh, as not as cold inside. So how's the coffee made from the last of the diary? It's great. Surely things will be fine. You have a great memory, Chichan. <laughs> yeah. With a lantern. Yeah. Ah. The lantern went out. Oh. What do we do now? I don't want to use the cooking stove fuel. We have no choice. Let's keep going like this. Chichan, take my hand. That's right. Chi Chan, are you afraid of dying? Yes. Me too. I'm not good with dark places. That's the first I've heard about that. Because I never said it before. A long time ago, I was alone somewhere in a dark and narrow place, and I feel like I was very scared. When? It sounds like it went over to the church, the temple. It was a long time ago, shortly after I was born. No, maybe before I was born. You can't remember anything that far back. I didn't say I remembered it. I just feel it. Huh. That's right, take off your gloves. But it's cold. You can put them in my pocket. Where are you? Right here. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> So long, these stairs seem to go on forever. I can't feel my legs anymore. Both you and I, we're so tired, we haven't said a word in a long time. We have lost everything. The vehicle, the gun, the books, the journal, and now the light too. The sounds of our footsteps is disappearing into repetition. Jesus Christ. I wonder if this is if this really is living. It's like returning to the darkness from which we come. Gee. Use hand to shake sometimes. I'll squeeze back harder. She's squeezing back. It's okay. It's okay, Chi-Chan. I could hear it. We've become one single life form. Or maybe we've been like this since the beginning. If that's the case, if that really is the case, my hand, use hand, the cold air touching our skin, the buildings outside the city, the sky spreading out above it, being in touch with the whole world, it's like we become something like that. Ah, uh, the light. They finally see. I finally found the light above them. I am worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. <laughs> uh. 
I'm going to make the final chapter dedicated video. It's going to be its own video. Because, yeah, it'll make it easier. No. No, I'll just leave it all in. I'll leave it all in. All right. The finale of Girls Last Tour. Make sure you've uh, read the manga or you're reading it with me. One or the other. It doesn't matter. Oh. Ba bump. I could hear my heart beating. My chest hurts. What are they going to see? I see stars peeking out, I think. The snow. Whoa, the stairs goes up like nowhere. This is the highest level? It must be because there isn't a higher level above us. What's that? Just a stone. So I guess there's only stones left. Well, to memorialize the, the occasion, let's eat. There's no food left. Get some water. Clink. Chi-chan? Why not accept this? Uh, yeah. There's nothing left for us to lose, right? So they're out of food, too. Is it right for us to be here? Hmm. Right? Going back somewhere else, somewhere warmer. Somewhere that has things to eat. Which will be better? Let's consider it later. <laughs> Snowball fight, just like when they had a flashback what was it, at the beginning of this volume. So they're capstoning it like that. I don't understand. What should I do? Why are there only two people in the whole world? I have no idea about anything. Getting to be alive is the best. Right? They get to see, at least they're seeing a beautiful sky. It's like the stars are falling down. I'm worrying you. Worrying that we'll disappear before we get to know more about this big world. So I grasped your hand when we were on those dark stairs. When I was feeling like I was part of the whole world. I felt like I could see and touch everything. I don't know if I, while I'm saying this. I don't know if while I'm saying this. Whether I could understand Maybe that's the most I can say. Oh. The sun. Let's go together until the end. Over there, where our sight ends, should be the nearest. I see. There isn't anything under those clouds over there. Perhaps there aren't any people as well. So I saved the happiest person just now? Maybe. Look below. I don't mind being the second happiest. If I were the happiest person, Chi Chan should be the second happiest, right? Makes that makes Chi Chan the unhappiest person too. <laughs> Dot, dot. 
So what do we have left? We can make some soup. There's also a knife, lights, rope and wire, and one bomb. Do we have a way to ignite the bomb? I don't know. I've got it right here. That's not it. Come on. Just a little more. So is this really the end? What should we do after this? Well, all in all, we eat first, we get some sleep, and then let's consider afterwards. Oh man. Ambiguous ending is ambiguous. But they don't have like anything left. I mean, like it took them forever to get up here from this from last point where they found food and shit. Ugh. They don't have anything left. Ugh. We're gonna starve to death, man. Or they're gonna die of hypothermia because they're up at the top right now, and it keeps getting colder and colder the higher they get. And they were already about dead, feeling about half dead from the cold already. <sighs> That's what hypothermia people do; they just go to sleep. Assuming they don't die of hypothermia. Assuming they're able to find food. I mean, I guess technically, I guess they could continue trying to do something else with their life. Man. Oh, man. This is a story about the end. The end of the end. Oh. Just like they said the song. The Neko they found. They said that song was a song of the end. Uh, I am depressed. But this is called Girl's Last Tour. And when you combine the title with the ambiguous nature of the, the finale combined with the artist the writer and what, what type of art she does <sighs> rest in peace my little potatoes <laughs> man mm. well maybe we'll get an epilogue when the volume comes out we'll see We'll see. Alright, well, this is Drunken Otaku. I'm heading out for now. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Hey everyone, this is the part of the video in which I shill for myself. I put it at the very end so you can easily skip it if you don't want to watch. All relevant links are in the description below. If you feel like supporting this channel, the best thing you can ever do is hit like and subscribe. But if you feel like taking it a step further, feel free to either follow me on my Twitter or join my Discord server. 
If you want to go plus ultra, I have a Patreon set up. If there's a show you want to see me react to that you don't think will ever win one of my polls, this is a great option. Finally, if you're planning on purchasing anything from Right Stuff or JList, I have links in my description that will kick back a bit of your purchase my way. And as always, I hope you have a great day.